Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm making a winter centerpiece to go on a table near our front door. We're in that weird time of year between, you know, Christmas decorations all coming down and spring. And so it's really hard to know like, what do I decorate with this time of year? And usually I like it to be pretty clean, a little bit more minimalistic looking this time of year, just because I like that kind of spring clean kind of feel, but I still want something there that looks pretty. So my goal today is to create something that looks wintry, but not Christmassy. I'm going to be using all naturals and that's usually a very safe thing to lean on is using natural elements. You can use those any time of year and it's always appropriate. I've got some really beautiful plants, uh, pine cones, branches, moss. I'm going to be using this really cool chunky basket as my kind of container to keep it all together. And I do realize that it might be hard to find some of these things, especially the plants this time of year. But what I'm hoping for is that it's just inspiring to you to maybe like put in the back of, you know, file it away in the back of your brain um, to be thinking about next fall as you know, you're shopping some end of, end of season sales, or, you know, as you're planting up your fall pots, maybe utilize some things that you can reuse uh, in, other arrangements. I like to do that a lot. So real quick, I wanted to go over some of the supplies I'm going to be using. First of all, I've got this hookah. I believe this is a cherry truffles. It's not prime, but it's still really colorful. And I think it still really looks good. It's got some fresh growth here in the center and the outer leaves, even though it's a little bit sparse looking, um, when you mix it with all these other things, it's going to look great. It's in this little concrete pot with this topiary form, and this will bring some really neat structure. I think this looks pretty just all on its own. I've got some branches here. Now these are some of the branches I used in the pots right down below here. I just stole them out of those pots. These are from the alder tree when my mom and I went and foraged and I've got a few more on the ground right behind me. They're just a lot bigger than this. I couldn't fit them on the table. I've got a couple different sizes of pine cones. So I've got these giant ones that I've had for a lot of years. I just, I have like pine cone stashes. I've got boxes and bags of pine cones out in our barn. Um, so I can continually reuse them. This is the other size right here. See, this one's really well loved. It's been used a lot. I've got a couple of plastic pots from my plant room upstairs because I may need to use these to raise a plant up here in the basket to bring a little bit more height. Then of course I've got my basket. I picked this up at an antique store. Um, I don't think it's an antique, but I'm always like looking out for shallow, sturdy baskets because I love to make centerpieces in them. And I also use them for harvesting vegetables and flowers out in the garden. I've got one burlap sack that I may cut up and kind of tuck in around the edges to hide pots because I'm actually not potting a thing for this arrangement. And then I've got some Royal Pool Moss. This is from the brand Super Moss. I love it, it's these huge chunks, really natural looking with all the different color variations. Whoops, I'm losing pieces of it. I've got this Evergold Carex right here. Look at the color on that. Isn't that so pretty? I forgot that I can hold things closer to this camera. <laughs> Look at this moss. Isn't that pretty? You can see all the color variations. Um, so this is just really cute all on its own. Brings a lot of kind of drama and texture. And then I have a Dusty Miller. I had this leftover. I have two of these out in the greenhouse. I bought these this fall to use in fall arrangements and they never, like I never had to use them in anything, obviously, because they're still potted, but they're still looking really good. That'll bring some nice blue. And then I've got this juniper. So this is called Gin Fizz. And this will get quite large. In fact, I have the tag right here. You can kind of see a end picture. It actually is gonna take on more of a pointy conical form. Junipers do awesome in our area. This is a zone four, th yes, four through eight. Grows 10 to 18 feet tall and wide. So a pretty good size evergreen shrub. I thought this would bring a really unique texture to this arrangement. The last thing, I brought a pile of saucers out here because I'm not gonna be potting any of these. I'm going to make sure that each one of them has a saucer underneath it because I don't want any water to come through and wreck our basket and go onto the table. So anyway, those are the supplies. My coffee's already cold, sad. So the first thing I'm gonna do is place my biggest piece, which is the juniper. So I wanna see if I can find the right size of saucer. I think this will work. This is an eight inch saucer. And I wanna place this one kind of toward the back corner. I think that looks really nice. And then I've got some six inch saucers. I think that's what I'll be using primarily for the rest of these. I didn't bring any four inch saucers. That probably would have worked better. Let's place the hookah next. I think, so this is where I'm gonna use a plastic pot. I think I want this one to have a little bit more height. So what I do is just put my plastic pot down inside like that. 
And in the end, you won't be able to see any of that stuff, none of the infrastructure. So isn't that pretty? And when I'm all done, I'll kind of stand in front to see if I like the way they're all placed. I might have to twist a pot here or there to see what it looks like. The Dusty Miller is gonna go in right here. I think that'll look good. Just because there's some yellow in the juniper, I kind of want to make sure that my yellows are in a line like this instead of a line on this side. Uh, and this one, I'm going to use this little plastic pot opposite. So this other one I put upside down. This one I'm going to rest the terracotta pot right inside the plastic pot, just like that. And that way it adds just like an extra, how much? Not very much. Oop, gotta make sure it's still in its saucer. Do I want it to have more height? Hold on, I need to come around the front. So I think that I have that about right. So what I ended up doing was putting a saucer upside down and then a saucer right side up. And then I just rested the pot, this pot right down on top right there. And it brought just the right height just to bring it up level with the basket. So now I want to add a little bit more bulk in here because these don't quite fill it in down here. So what I will do is add some pine cones, probably some in the back here, kind of to add some weight, and then around the front. Let's see. I think this one might be able to squeeze. And mostly, these whole projects are all about just fussing with stuff. So you kind of have, like I had a kind of idea of how I wanted these things, this to look in the end, but you don't really know how it's gonna come together until you start working with everything. And then you just have to kind of mess with it until you like the result. And sometimes that means pulling it apart a couple days later and trying again. So then I'm gonna just start poking some branches around like this. Aren't these so pretty? This is what really adds a lot of texture, I think, to a display. And I usually keep these branches for a long time. Like these right here still have a ton of flexibility in them. And we harvested them a long time ago. Um, but I like to reuse them in lots of different arrangements. Let me grab the others. Here's one nice big one. Okay, you're not gonna be able to see my face anymore very well. I think something like, something like that. And let's see, there's two branches here. Let me take them apart. Uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna take this out for a second. If I can, we'll place this first. Oh, that looks kind of neat, having the branch kind of come around the front there. In the end, this won't be so squirrely, hopefully. Okay, let me come around front real quick again. Oh, that's a mess, isn't it? This needs to be more in here, like this. And this one needs to be back here, I think. Probably don't want to see that in the in the display. Mercy. Yeah, I'm gonna tuck some pieces of moss. It's looking pretty good, I think. I mean, it's just kind of a menagerie of beautiful things, which sometimes is really fun. So I'm going to fuss with these leaves a little bit because I want to be able to see some of those colors coming through, but you can see, I wanted to give you a closer up look at what I do. I haven't cleaned this off yet. I usually just kind of blow on it to blow off any excess moss, but I just tuck pieces of this chunky moss right here. I just tear it apart like this. And then I can use those pieces to tuck around the edge or in any holes or wherever any plastic might be showing but I'm not actually not seeing any plastic. Let's check the other side. So even here, like this is pretty much where you're gonna see it on that side. So if you keep coming, of course you will see the Proven Winners pot shining through, but I can always tuck a little piece of moss right there and just keep working on getting that covered up. But it's really not necessary because you won't see the pot, but except for about right at this angle. I uh, kind of twisted the arrangement around though so that the background was more white so we could maybe see the structure of the branches a little bit better. The wonderful thing about using naturals, other than the fact that you can use them all year, any time of year, and it always works, is that you really can't go wrong. They all take on a look of their own. Um, no two arrangements will be alike and you really, like any way you put them together, it's gonna be beautiful because of how pretty each one of the things are. So we'll start in the back there. You can see the gin fizz just looking really beautiful, adding kind of almost this soft evergreen texture. And I like the fact that it's not like 
a solid evergreen. It's not like a solid boxwood or something like that. It's just a little bit more natural looking um, because we do get a little bit of that structure, that kind of formal structure with this topiary form, but you can see the hookah there. Doesn't that add the perfect amount of color? Then the Carex just softly spilling over the side and I don't mind that I see the, the terracotta pot because I like terracotta pots. Then the Dusty Miller just kind of brings that bright pop of color and then we've got our natural things um, accenting so the pine cones just popped here and there wherever there was a space and there's the smaller one there and then we've got moss just kind of tucked in throughout the sides of the container to hide any plastic and then of course the branches which are kind of wild looking and kind of awesome. I hope you guys enjoy seeing projects like this come together. I know that there's not a lot of rhyme or reason to how I put it together. I just thought it would be something fun to show you guys because it was something I was planning on doing today. Uh, it's cold and windy, but the sun is out and our forecast looks a little bit depressing. In fact, I'll show you. So the temperatures aren't horrible, but there's only one day that's partly sunny in the next little bit, which is so sad to me. When I was eating lunch today, I went and found a sunny window and I just soaked it in. I just sat with my face completely in the sun because I crave it so much this time of year. I should talk about care really quick, like how I'm gonna take care of these plants before I take it up there. So like you saw, all of these plants are still in their pots. They all have saucers underneath them. The only thing I really need to make sure to do is make sure that they don't dry out completely, which in the winter, I typically keep everything on an every two week watering schedule. Um, these I will probably do a little more often because they're in such small pots. Um, they are going to be a little better off because they're all huddled together and they're in a basket So they're a little bit more insulated and they are protected from wind But they're also going to be under cover where they will receive no snow or rain So they're going to be completely dependent on me So I just can put it on a once a week schedule to run out check them They may not need it every single week, but I'm going to check them that often So that's the plan all of these are tough plants in fact the Carex, Hookera and Juniper are all perennial here. Dusty Miller sometimes is a perennial for us. It depends on the winter, um, but it's a pretty tough plant with cold. So, and it's already been out in the greenhouse, so it's pretty used to the temperatures that are going on outside. So now let's head up front. Oh, I think it's just perfect in this space. I don't know why, but in my mind, I was thinking this table was a lot smaller than it is, but it's not. I thought the proportion was gonna be a little bit odd, but it turned out perfect and it added living, something living up here. Because the only other thing I've got going on is this uh, preserved boxwood wreath, which is nice and clean looking and something bright, but that was pretty much it. I mean, I've got the doormat and my bistro set and now this beautiful arrangement and the light the colors actually look way better up here with this lighting i probably just should have been more tough and filmed the whole video out here <laughs> um, but you can definitely see the detail in all the plants really well the branches look really great up against the white siding it's just a nice little natural arrangement. Love it. And that's it for today's video. I just wanted to show you this centerpiece coming together. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think this kind of thing can be scaled to whatever size you want it to be. I mean, you can go bigger or you can go small and just use one plant, put it in a pretty basket with some branches and pine cones, and you'll have yourself something beautiful. I think it's totally worth every bit of effort to put beautiful things where you frequent. Like I'm up here all the time now because I've got my citrus plants right in the sun porch next door to me um, and so I'm just constantly through this door and so now I have something really fun to look at every time I go by it and it just makes me happy and it's fun to be out here working on stuff like I probably jumped the gun on some things I've already started some seeds which it might be a little bit early but I don't even care I don't even care if I have to replant them again because I just so enjoy being out here and just doing things even if they're you know something small um, and I can reuse these plants later on like the juniper is going out in our landscape so is the carex so is the hookera and then I can utilize all the decorative pieces again so it's just something fun to do for this time of year so I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you found some inspiration in it and we will see you in the next video bye